It's an Oklahoma team that beat four top 10 teams in the month of January. They're the seventh seed here. They get Iowa State next. Bob was choosing Fran for Schilla on the call. You're watching ESPN's Champ Week, presented by SoFi. As we welcome you back to the T-Mobile Center here in Kansas City. So happy to be back at the Phillips 66 Big 12 Championship to watch first team all Big 12 point guard Austin Reeves and 1,400 point score Brady Manick and Oklahoma looking to advance to day two of the Phillips 66 Big 12 Championship already advancing in the first half of our doubleheader was Mike McGurl scoring 17 and putting the freshman on a poster at the rim Nigel Pack with 23. He was five of six from three point land. Very impressive performance by the nine seed Kansas State. 21 point win over TCU. So advancing to tomorrow to take on the one seed Baylor is Kansas State. Can Oklahoma join them in the quarterfinals or will it be Iowa State to meet Kansas? We are back, Bob Wachusen, here with Fran Fraschilla, and Holly Rowe is joining us as well. Up here in the penalty box, but we are glad to be here in person, Fran. And this Oklahoma team has been on a roller coaster all season long, losing their last four regular season games. Still, they're very dangerous. If you go back to November, they would have taken this season. They're already in the tournament. Let's go back and show you exactly why it has been a roller coaster start. That's how they ended up. They're heading to the NCAA tournament. But back in January, a historic month. That's only been done three times in history. The last, they get up to number nine. Everybody's excited in Norman. And then you play the Big 12, you run a gauntlet from January to March. Struggled, but not this guy. Great season for Austin Reeves. He is the catalyst for this Sooner team. And Holly Rowe, four game losing streak to turn the season kind of on a downward turn at the end. How do Austin Reeves and OU turn this around? Well, you know, we asked Long Kruger about it, and he said, listen, those were one possession games. We're not going to dig too deep into it. But he said, we do have to get back to all the little things. Those little plays that made us win all those games in January were what prevented us from winning towards the end of the season. Primarily rebounding in that losing streak. They've gotten beaten by almost 10 rebounds a game on the board. They're pretty good, 13-0 and 0 when they get 30 rebounds or more. Just 1-9 and nine with fewer than 30 rebounds. Guys, they've got to hit the glass tonight. And only one of those losses at the end of the season, Fran, was really a bad loss. They lost at Kansas State by five to begin the four-game slide, but back-to-back -back bedlam heartbreakers to Oklahoma State and then losing to Texas on Thursday night. Obviously, this is a very dangerous Oklahoma team. This Iowa State club, they have yet to win a Big 12 game this season. Do they have any hope tonight? Yes, they do. They played this Oklahoma team reasonably close twice, and they do. They have to play better. They have to take care of the basketball. Um, quite frankly, they're offensively challenged. It's been a very, very tough year, but we'll see what happens over the next 40 minutes. Maybe they can make something happen and stay in Kansas City as long as they normally do with their great fan base.